Good evening, I'm Seth Meyers. This is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden on Saturday visited Los Angeles, where his motorcade reportedly caused traffic delays. Oh, come on, it's Los Angeles. That's like saying he visited New York and caused subway delays. No, he didn't. Just happens. During the National Prayer Breakfast last week, President Biden and House Speaker Mike Johnson appeared to cry during singer Andrea Bocelli's rendition of Amazing Grace. Biden, because he was moved by the performance, and Johnson, because Andrea is a girl's name. <laughs> At a rally yesterday in Nevada, President Biden criticized former President Trump's economic record and called him, quote, Donald Herbert Hoover Trump, a comment that has Trump supporters frantically Googling Herbert Hoover. <laughs> Damn Biden supporters, come on. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I don't know what that means either. <laughs> During an interview yesterday, former President Trump discussed his criteria for selecting a vice president and said, quote, it's gotta be who is going to be a good president. You always have to think about that. Yeah, we know, dude. <laughs> I love it when he's the last person on earth to figure something out and then he wants to explain it to us. It's like, <laughs> having a kid in school. Dad, did you know there are three kinds of rocks? Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> well, then name them, Dad. I don't know the names. I just know there are three kinds. <laughs> and I know nothing about Herbert Hoover, so don't ask. <laughs> After several right-wing media personalities began to claim recently that Taylor Swift is part of a Pentagon operation to influence the <laughs> presidential election, a Defense Department spokesperson said, quote, we know all too well the dangers of conspiracy theories. So to set the record straight, Taylor Swift is not part of a DOD psychological operation, period. Because if there's one thing that will sway conspiracy theorists, it's an official statement from the Pentagon. <laughs> New York Mayor Adams last week announced a new strategy for the city sanitation system that will store trash bags instead of piling them up on the street to be picked up. It's part of his plan to bring New York City all the way into the 1990s. <laughs> Adams also announced the finalized rules for outdoor dining and said, quote, we're fundamentally transforming what it feels like to be outside New York. Good, because no one here can afford to be inside. <laughs> a Florida man was arrested recently after he allegedly entered a church thrift store naked, naked and stole a T-shirt. He's being charged with also not stealing pants. In honor of Valentine's Day, Popeyes is offering limited edition heart-shaped strawberry biscuits with a drizzle of icing, after which your heart will no longer be heart-shaped. <laughs> and finally, crew members of a floating sauna in Oslo recently rescued two passengers from a car that accidentally drove into a fjord. For more stories like this, pick up a copy of Mad Libs, Norwegian edition. <laughs> and that was a monologue, everybody. We are off and running.